Okay, come on in my kitchen. Uh, we're playing this in open G tuning. Uh, Robert Johnson played it closer to open A tuning, tuning up and I believe uh, barring. So if you want to get close to the uh, pitch of the recordings we've all heard, you, you probably want to tune up and capo. Uh, but uh, just to make everything a little more accessible, especially on my uh, 12 fret guitar, uh, I tune to G tuning, which is D, G, D, G, B, D. Uh, so this is tuned down a little bit from where you would hear it on the actual recording. Um, we have an intro and a verse here. The intro, the first four bars, uh, involves some slide playing up at the 12th fret. So we're playing single strings at first. And what I like to do is when I'm playing the single first string, I kind of keep my slide slightly tilted out away from the other strings. And then when I want that double stop, which is the beginning of that second measure, then I tilt my slide in to get both the second and the first string. Uh, one thing I think that you might find challenging with this song is the interplay between what the bass is doing and what the slide is doing. Uh, so you can pay attention to that. I think for the most part, think about a steady bass kind of played on the fifth and the fourth string. Notice I'm, I'm playing those strings, but then kind of muting them, killing the note right away. I'll talk a little bit more about that in the verses, but continuing with the intro, end up on the third string at the 12th fret. And then Robert Johnson does this a lot. He plays these little slide lines up at the 12th fret and goes down to the open position, first three frets, and plays, in this case, a turnaround. So I end up fretting the fifth string, third fret. Then going down to the sixth and fourth strings at the second fret. I'm grabbing sixth string, fourth string, and third string. Index and middle are grabbing those fourth and third strings. Thumbs grabbing the sixth string. Walk down to the first fret. Open string and then slide on the fifth string, seventh fret. Uh, and again, with the slide here, what I want to do is I want to I want to tilt in a little bit on my slide, kind of avoiding the other strings as much as possible. Um, on the acoustic guitar, that's not as big a deal. I think it's like an electric, but when you're playing those lower strings, the wound strings in particular, uh, I think it, it helps to tilt in a little bit to really direct your slide on the particular string you're trying to play. Okay, then we get into the verses, and this is where I think the sort of having an idea of what the bass is doing is very important. And again, it, it's this idea of kind of thumping through the fifth and the fourth string. And for the most part, keeping a steady monotonic bass. One, two, three, four. If you look at the bass in the first two measures of the, of the verse, the actual rhythm of the bass is one, two, three, four, and one, two, and three, four. So occasionally you get these little eighth note kind of swing things going on in the bass. So make sure you listen to it carefully and um, pay attention to the bass. Um, those first two measures, two, three, notice he's using that 11th fret, walking down to the 10th fret, Playing the second string, twelfth fret. Uh, I'm now in the measure six, ending up on the third string, twelfth fret. Notice we got to go all the way down here again. Hit this first fret. There's probably another way you could do that. You can play that note there. I guess you can play it there. But 
I'm guessing that he is actually playing playing that that note on the second string, that C note on the uh, second fret of that second string. This is measure nine. We end up with the slide up here at the fourth string, twelfth fret, and then going to be raining outdoors. That's kind of the classic line here. All those notes are played at the 12th fret. Double stop on the 1st and 2nd string, sliding into the 12th fret. Then sliding 12 to 10 on the 3rd string. Back up to 12 on the 4th string. Back to the 3rd string, 12th fret. With a little tag line. So that's again sliding on the four string, sliding back five to three, open string, play that third fret on the fifth string without the slide. Zero, three, zero. Again, I'm using my finger to play the third fret on the sixth string. Uh, and then end up with a fifth fret uh, for the slide. takes us back around to playing the verse. <laughs> 